Hi folks and welcome to another vlog. So I thought I'd start just another little casual one on the lead up to Christmas. Um, reading some books and doing a few activities if that happens. Um, yeah, I just have some books that I kind of want to focus on before the end of the year's out. And one of those books is Justin Lee Anderson's The Lost War. It's his new high fantasy series. This is the first book in the Yijian saga and it's steeped in Scottish mythology. Um, it's basically what if Scotland was like a mythological fantasy world. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. It's action packed, it's, it's fast paced. There's a lot of magic, a lot of law, politi political intrigue, um, kind of conspiracies going on. So it says the war is over, but peace can be hell. Demons continue to burn farmlands, violent mercenaries roam the wilds, and a plague is spreading. The country of Edian is on its knees. In a society that fears and shuns him, Aranok is the first mage to be named King's Envoy, and his latest task is to restore the exiled foreign queen to her throne. The band of allies he assembles each have their own unique skills, but they are strangers to one another, and every step across the ravaged land a new threat emerges, Lies are revealed and distrust could destroy everything they are working for. Somehow, Aranok must bring his companions together and uncover the conspiracy that threatens the kingdom before war returns to the realms again. I thought I'd quickly just jump on here and do an intro. I've nearly finished work for the day and I thought it's really nice and quiet because there's barely anyone in and you can't hear like the awful weather outside so this seemed like an opportune time. Um, and yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. I've been reading this for a couple of weeks. I think I picked it up at the start of December and I'm just about to start chapter 38, page 373. So I've been tabbing a lot. Um, yeah, I'm either going to do like a, a more detailed review in this vlog if I, if I finish it, you know, during this time or I'll come back and do like a separate review anyway, but I'm really enjoying this and I think it's probably going to be one of my favourite reads of the year um, with the way it's going. So yes, that's just a little update and intro for this vlog. Today was a day that I realised I had forgotten about vlogging, um, so I thought I would just update you guys on what I've been doing. Honestly, clearly not enough to be sharing with you, but I did do my hair. I finally took out my braids that I had in for a while. Um, did all my hair wash and prep yesterday, and then today I just put these jumbo braids and I've got like some baby hairs and stuff sitting. I've had this on like all day, so hopefully it's nice and slick, but I've just done two chunky like French blade braids with a different technique because I can't do the feeding braids. I really struggle to add hair as I'm plaiting. I just, my fingers can't work out where it's supposed to be where, you know? So I saw this technique of crocheting it and I just did like four sections or however many sections I needed, elasticated those sections and then through those little hair bands I threaded through or crocheted through the extension hair and then I plaited it like that and it was so much easier um so I did that got some errands in Asda went to my nanny's and in terms of reading I have got literally this much not even that much because part of it's like a chapter from another book but that much left of the lost war and i'm thinking i'm going to be able to post my review for it on instagram tomorrow because i was going to do the book tour but the dates that i was available for so like the end of december is when the tour would be finished but they said go ahead and still talk about it when you want um so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm loving it i am absolutely adoring it i just think this is a fantastic book honestly so yeah i am loving that I have got a coffee, which I probably shouldn't be drinking at this time of night. It's a latte, but reading sprints, I suppose, you know, unofficial reading sprints. And yeah, that's literally it. Oh my God, I nearly dragged the coffee off of the table. My finger got like hooked around the um, handle and it almost went, oi. Anyway, that is it. I've got my candles burning. My candles is burning. I don't know why it does this weird thing. Hold on, can I change it? Oh, it's because I had it on a glitch. I didn't know why it kept glitching out like this every time I turned the camera around. I never had this option to change it. But now, look, I can see that I can change the effect. Amazing. It's back to normal. And yeah, so anyway, um, it's like a bit sparse, a bit boxed up because I don't know if I've mentioned it on 
the channel yet but me and my other half are trying to buy um and hopefully that's going to be happening sooner rather than later um we're just waiting on a moving date so fingers crossed fingers crossed it all goes smoothly in the new year um we're buying a two-bed flat which is very exciting so it's kind of like a bit of amazing here at the minute <laughs> but yes that is kind of it for updates and i'll check in with you guys later so i finished the lost war and it was absolutely phenomenal five out of five stars i'm definitely gonna have to do a review because i feel like i've got a lot of spoilery stuff that i want to talk about as well and i don't want to do it in this video um as for reading now i am just chilling out the shower got my little kitty cat with me and we are sitting and chilling for the evening i have just started reading on book beats um, which is kind of like Audible, but they have digital books on there as well. Um, Mayfly by CJ Lead. I don't actually know an awful lot of what it's about, so I'm probably going to come back and let you know a little bit more later on at another date um, when I've read a bit more and I feel like I can more competently tell you the synopsis, I suppose. <laughs> just come in from seeing my friend sing which was amazing had such a great time um yeah i'm going to take my makeup off and go to bed hello hello, hello. it is so dark in here i just nipped out i need to get a couple of bits from the corner shop but i thought i would just pop on whilst i decant everything from the bag and tell you that i've just watched the tempest 2010 in the last reading vlog i said that i wanted to try and find the movie that i had in mind um which was this one because i had read the play and i just i didn't get it to be honest i didn't find it entertaining i didn't really care for it and unfortunately i felt the same way about the movie it was very strange <laughs> it was a unique one to say the least it was a bit trippy a lot was going on and a lot was happening and i just i mean it was easier than some of the like old timey um speaking and and patterns but like as well as you know seeing what was meant by certain things like just having it expressed on the screen um was better than well it's how i expected it. it was better than the um what do you call it the play itself like reading it but i think i just suffer really from not studying it um back when i was in school and stuff so that's just my own my own thing but yeah unfortunately the film wasn't that great for me either <laughs> hello everybody merry christmas it's actually boxing day today but i was out and about all day um, yesterday I didn't get back home till like 11pm so I didn't really get much chance to talk to you guys but I had a lovely time we went to my other half's um, family in Suffolk and we had like Christmas day Christmas meal that sort of stuff there um, I did start reading another book and that is The Cousins by Karen M McManus this is the author of One of Us is Lying and subsequent books thereafter I don't know if you can see that there we are um and for me i i have gravitated towards this because her stories kind of make me think of the movie knives out which i absolutely love it's such a fun dramatic drama filled um story and this is following um the the story family there's a sister and three brothers who are just one day suddenly cut off from their mother and all their inheritance and they kind of have to make their own way into the life in their lives they now they now are older they have their own children but the cousins don't really know each other that well to be honest they haven't seen each other since years past and now their grandmother has finally reached out and said Look, i'm interested to know you because she'd never met them um, I'm inviting you this summer to live and work at my is it my villa, her uh, her resort. I kind of feel like they don't have a choice but to go. So I think it's supposed to be them kind of getting to the bottom of why their grandmother suddenly wants to reach out, claiming their re inheritance from for their parents, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm hoping there's going to be some murder and mystery going on as well. I'm literally only a couple of pages into this, but so far so good. 
um back to mo flyer i picked that back up again not too long ago today and now i can finally tell you a little bit about what it is so we're following Maeve <laughs> who is a she's basically a frozen Disney princess she is Elsa um they don't name they're not allowed to name some of the princesses I think it's like copyrighted and stuff so she's just the ice princess right um working at the Disneyland resort she's loving this kind of career this life um but she has like a darker side and it's supposed to be like an imagining or an inspiration of um American Psycho so it's kind of like that's the vibe that's the story she's secretly very unhinged in the dark pleasures that she enjoys i think it's going to get to the point where she's going to start murdering and like mutilating people and stuff so look at this bushy tail what's this about um yeah so i'm looking forward to getting to that um what else i've also just started the christmas book club by sarah morgan i read the christmas sisters years and years ago i think i read that through net and i really loved it and i started like following her on facebook when i had facebook um watching her lives and stuff and i really wanted to read more from her but i think that was the only one i read in the end so i've just seen this on book beats and i thought oh i've got like three hours left before it renews later on today um so let me see what i can squeeze in because i'm reading mayfly through book beats as well um so i might interchange between the two um and this is about well i don't really know exactly i think it's about a christmas book club uh three i think three women who are kind of drifting it could be the christmas that makes or breaks their friendship and then this lady who owns this inn who kind of goes above and beyond she's called hattie for everyone despite her own struggles um being a single mom a widow at the at the age of 28 she is kind of accidentally thrown into their lives more than expected and i think it, it kind of goes from there basically so yeah those are the books at the moment today i am going to be going to my uncle and cousins the cousins um and we're probably just going to play switch games and yeah chill have some caribbean food and relax for the day <laughs> i just finished up my vlog with a little haul of what i got this festive period which was a great time um and then i'm gonna wrap it up oh my god yawning so yes i will show you quickly i got this jumper and this ah oh, bag from loki and this mug from my partner my partner's family we just did secret santa with the adults and i got his sister so i got these goodies which is so kind that i love that little book of mindfulness back here some bath bits some earrings a calendar couple's calendar i can't hold it out properly but i got this um little cat print and then for my family i got a reading journal with a bookmark a book some sweeties a tarot deck and a cup from the barbie film and yeah that is that for this video thank you for coming along with me and looking at what i've been reading and joining me for this festive season and i shall wish you a happy new year and see you in the next one bye <laughs>